use the future value formula for simple interest to find capital P, the principal or present value, if capital A, that's the future value, or sometimes I call it the accumulated value, is $2,448, the annual interest rate is 6%, and the time is 6 years. Remember, little t is always given in years. Now, in order to find the future value, I'm going to uh, use the future value formula for simple interest. Remember, it's simple interest. And this is one of our formulas. You can actually derive that formula, and I might derive it in just a moment, but let's just assume for now that you just know that formula. Uh, when, you're, when you're finding the amount of interest, you use capital I, but when you want to know how much is actually in the account, that's the future value. That's what you put in plus what you earned. That's what capital A is, and there's a formula for that, and, and we've learned it, and there it is. Assuming that you know this formula, it just becomes a matter of plugging in and solving for the principal. Now R is 6%. We have to write that as a decimal so it's 0 .06 and the time is 6 years. Now let's do this and don't get in a hurry because if you set it up correctly it's just a shame to then turn around and miss the problem because you got in a hurry. So I want to first take 6 and multiply it by 0 .06. So if you take your calculator, you will get 0 .06 times 6 equals. And what pops up in your computer display is that product, which happens to be 0 0.36. Now we w the parentheses tells us we want to add next. We'll add that number. Now the point zero three six is already in the calculator display. So at this point, all you have to do is hit plus one equals, and then you'll have one point three six. So we now have two four four eight is equal to p times and as a matter of fact as I'm writing it down just because I'm more used to seeing it that way I'm going to write it as 1.36p you certainly don't have to but I'm much more used to seeing it that way so to solve for p I simply need to divide both sides by 1.36 and if I do that I'll get p so in the calculator I will enter 2448 divided by 1.36 equals and that gives me 1800. So the principal or present value is 1800. In other words if I end up with $2,448 in an account where the principal stayed in there for six years at a 6% simple uh, interest rate, I will have had to have put in $1,800 in the beginning. So $1,800 would grow to $2,448 after six years if there's a simple interest of 6% in the account.